Welcome back to another Tegrity session. Here is the case that I posted in the current week's material. We're talking about lions and tigers again, and we're going to be buying a Hummer 3. Now he needs to know how to calculate the depreciation, so what we're going to do is we're going to show him all three methods. So here is the Hummer he wants to buy, and we're going to take our cost for straight line, because that's the one we're going to do first. We're going to take our cost minus our salvage value to get our depreciable cost, and we're going to divide that by our useful life. Okay, so we had a cost of 38,000 minus 10,000 in salvage value, so we have a $28,000 depreciable cost. We divide that by 10, and we're going to recognize 2,800 depreciation in year 1, 2,800 in year 2, and 2,800 in year 3. That's why we call it straight line. So on straight line, it is the easiest method, but what we want to keep in mind is that it doesn't fit everything. Straight line should be used for those problems where everything is the same or it doesn't change. So you want to make sure that that would be like for a desk or um, something that just is the same usage. Units of activity is a real common one to use for vehicles because it's very similar to straight line where we take the cost minus the salvage value. But instead of dividing by our useful life, we divide by our number of miles. I'm not sure what that was trying to do there. Hold on. So we divide by our number of miles. So in this problem, we had a cost of 38, we had a salvage value of 10, and we're going to divide by 100,000 miles. So what that says is what? What are we saying is our cost per mile? So we're saying that that's 28 cents a mile. So to get 2011's, or I'm sorry, to get 2010's miles, we're going to take the miles we drove times 28 cents, and we're going to get a total of 5,600. Then we're going to take the next set of miles times 28 cents, and we're going to get 2,800. And then finally, we're going to take 5,000 miles times 28 cents, and this is going to give us 1,400. And I'm sorry, this here should say 20,000. Now, mileage works great for vehicles because what we're saying is we're saying, hey, we're going to be driving this vehicle, so we really should be basing it on actual usage. The thing you have to be careful of with units of activity is that when you're still driving it at 110,000 miles that you stop depreciating at 100,000 miles. Or another way to say that is you cannot depreciate more than the depreciable cost. So we're saying that it cost us 38 but we expect to sell it or salvage it for 10, so we can only recognize $28,000 of depreciation. Okay, so I think those are the two easiest methods. Where students have a hard time is when we get into double declining balance. There's a lot of ways to do this, so I'm going to write the formulas in black that I have found over the years is the easiest. One divided by the number of years equals a rate. 
if we times that by 2, we get a double declining balance rate. So if I take 1 divided by 10 times 2, I get 20%. So I am assuming that this is going to depreciate at a rate of 20% per year. So for the year 2010, I'm going to take my cost of 38000 times 20% and I'm going to depreciate 7,600. This is my depreciation expense. Then my accumulated depreciation is just going to be my total depreciation so far and then my book value is my cost minus my accumulated depreciation. So this number is still 7,600. 38,000 minus 7,600 gives me a book value of 30,400. So for 2011, I'm going to take 30,400 times 20% and this is going to give me 6,080. Notice I have done nothing with salvage value. 7,600 plus 6,080 equals 13,680 for my accumulated depreciation. If I take my beginning book value of 38,000 minus 13,680, I get 24,320. In 2012, 24,320 times 20 percent equals 4,864 which gives you 18,544 and a book value of 19,456. Now you guys were only asked to go for three years but I went ahead and I went a little further because I wanted to show you guys how this would all go out. So you guys were asked to stop here but I went a little further so for 2013, I take my book value of 19,456 times my 20%, which equals 3,891, plus my accumulated depreciation gives me 22,435, which gives me a remaining book value of 15,565. For 2014, 15,565 times 20 percent equals 3,113 which equals 25,548 or 12,452. Finally, in 2015 I take 12,452 times 20 percent which is going to give me 2,000 490. But guess what? I can't take that much. Because remember what I said about the salvage value? You have, you cannot depreciate below the salvage value. The salvage value in this problem is 10,000. So the most I can take is 2,452 which will give me accumulated depreciation of 28,000 which will give me a remaining book value of 10. Okay, that's how salvage value comes into play on a double declining balance. Next, for part B, we kind of reinvented the wheel and we said, okay, wait a minute. Now, I want you guys to say, stop a minute. Let's assume that we were going to do straight line and then after three years changed our mind. So remember, straight line was $28,000. So we're going to change 
our estimate. Get some more lines down here. Okay, so we're going to change our estimate. And if you remember, our straight line was 2,800. We're going to do that for three years. So we're going to have depreciation of 8,400. The first step is to calculate book value. So whenever you revise an estimate, you're going to stop and calculate book value. So you're going to take a cost minus the accumulated depreciation to get the book value. And we had a cost of 38,000 minus accumulated depreciation of 8,400, which is going to give you 29,600. Second, we recalculate depreciation. So we're going to take that same formula we used before for straight line, cost minus salvage value divided by life. And in this case, instead of using cost though, we're going to use the book value. It's the same formula, but we're just using book value instead. So we have a book value of 29,600 minus a salvage value of 3 divided by a useful life. And he said the useful life should have been 8 years, but I've already used 3 years up, so there's only 5 years remaining. So my new depreciation is 5,320,000. Okay, if you have any questions, please ask these via the discussion board and thank you for coming.